Welcome back to another random and interesting video. I do believe today's goal is to remove the that engine, which means this hood's coming up, unfortunately. And it looks like we have decided we're repairing the rust on this one. So, looks like he's gotten uh, that patch started. And, oh, he hasn't ground this one down yet. And he got that patch on there. So, I guess he's decided this is worth saving. Never know. And let's see here. Yeah, we'll just pop that uh, light off. A couple bolts. You know, ugh. I forgot this is really, really messy. <laughs> you forget after a week, but it'll go pretty smooth, I think. Okay, we're getting ready to pop the hood. I just pop the light down originally we we're gonna unplug it but then you know moving the hood around will break the light so we're gonna keep the light with the truck so a couple 13 millimeter bolts a hood that's always heavier than you remember it being because you're getting older and in the short term we're just gonna set it on this little uh, table thing here and then we'll figure out where we're gonna store it and just like that the hood is off and boom, instantly the whole room is much brighter. Always fun trying to reach some of this. But I think we've decided we're going to go ahead and yank the throttle body off and just use a carb plate for yanking this motor. I think it'll swing pretty easy. Okay, so we've got that fun little water diverter off of there. That hose didn't really want to come off. But we got it. So he's out getting a carb plate and then we'll roll the, the cherry picker in here and go to town hopefully not destroy the distributor that'd be nice okay so there see just a standard carb plate got her on there we're gonna roll her back get her up in the air get these front tires off and get ready to attack these motor mount bolts they're not usually fun but we think they won't be too bad because we're pretty sure this motor's been out before. See the junkyard riding right there? And remember, about half of everything that we've taken out wasn't torqued. Yeah. Throw this truck away. Look, the power steering pulley has got a dent here. And look at that big old crack right there. So, yeah, we're done. We can't even work on this anymore. It's got a cracked power steering pulley, and we all know how fun those are to change. Okay, and here is this big old mess so we're gonna loosen the motor mounts while we're up here and they're as easy to get at as they're gonna be you know they're not gonna get any easier so we'll pull. Get any so and then it looks like he's just collapsing some calipers a little bit making sure everything rolls okay we got the nuts off the bolts Bring it down. So we took the front tires off so the truck could sit a little lower. And this is a lot of weight. Alright. Ah, there's stuff on my stool, man. And this is the part where we get to try to guess where our center of balance is going to be. We got all our accessories on, so I'm assuming it's pretty front heavy. So, we're going to go to the front eye. And if we're wrong, we're going to fight about it in a little bit. That's all I can do. Okay, you want to put a little weight on her, and then I should pull the pins, hopefully. So remember, we got the nuts off the bolts, but the bolts are still in. No, we got to move our center back. Shot. 
Yeah, we're dripping. Oh, I thought I had a green pan under there. I pulled it. Why? This one spins. Hey, if that one spins, pull it. I don't think you're sick on me. No, give her just a tiny bit more. the fun part, you gotta get that bolt out. Mm -hmm. only, I think I plugged the hole. Alright, let me figure out how on earth I'm whacking that thing. Can I see it from up here? Whack it up, whack it up. Another bolt. Alright, now let's see what we think about our weight balance. It may still have to change. Also, just in case, when is our. Oh, who did it tiny? Those are those little five and a halfs. Okay, go for it. Yeah, our weight balance is very forward. Okay, come up a little. One more. Okay, let's. Let's take stock of what's going on here and try to come forward a little. Okay, let me unstuck some stuff. Oh, 
Oh, it's heavy. Where's it stuck? A few lines, but they'll come off. They got no problem. They're metal. Anything on your side stuck? My side's no. looking pretty good. Some air, so I'm gonna break the pan, not the floor. Oh, yeah, let's show the people what this thing looks like here. But we already are. Okay. A little archaeology back here. Half the broken bits of connector and and convoluted tube are sitting right there. So let's see what we got here. And we did that without cutting any wiring. All of that was exactly as it came. Sensor, ah, the sensor, not the wiring. I cut the sensor because it was garbage. How do you know that? Because we chucked it in the trash. So, oh, there. so, yeah, that's a big freaking hole down in here. Holy monkeys. <laughs> you didn't put anything in there. Well, they used to put them diesels in there, so yeah, probably. 6.5 International in here. And in true Chevrolet fashion, we have fluids everywhere. Getting ready to pop this hood back on and get that danger out of our way. You know, so we threw the tires back on, got her down, we get the hood on, and then we'll feel a little better having that crazy thing not sitting in front of both of our doors. There we go. We got the hood on. So now we're going to... Give her a shot, kind of watch, see if we screwed up our alignment or not. How are you doing on your side? My side looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, so far. Yep, I'm good. Uh, what are we hitting? Oh, see that Light. tube? No. That, <laughs> that was coming down and hitting it and pinching on it. So now it won't. And how are you looking over here? Yeah, I say we're good. That makes us happy. How are we doing? Yeah, it's a little forward here. Good enough. It's good enough for now, knowing that you got all this body work okay. to do. We're gonna take five and uh then we gotta rack that guy. Okay, before we deal with that, we've decided that while there's a tiny bit of light, not much, but a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and get this moved over to the stall that's going in, down in there. So, let's get some doors open. At least it's nice and cold out now, so there's not that many bugs. I'm not gonna believe this, but this thing won't even start. Been trying. <sighs> Wonder why. Let's take a quick peek. Oh, that's probably why right there. Well, there we go. <laughs> Made a bit of a mess. All right, just getting ready to pop this manifold off that we don't need. We'll keep moving from there. We'll get the other side. But it still had the little tin shields around the plugs, so I even had to pull the plugs. How crazy. And speaking of those, 
they don't look like anything I didn't expect. So that's always that actually good. Didn't fight us as bad as I thought it would. And oddly enough, it did have a manifold gasket leak on the rear. So we got the plugs back in to keep stuff out of there and we'll go to the other side. Knock that one off real quick. I've been uh, trying to work. Somebody's in here trying to clean and get me all soaking wet. So getting ready to drop this side. It's less fun because you gotta fight with the dipstick and the heat riser. So I'm still working on getting that off. And then this should come out pretty easy. Okay. The only thing left on here now is motor mounts. Because those heavy buggers are out of there. Those things are, uh, they're a little heavy. This side also had a leak right here. But, uh, and we got the dipstick tube holder kind of back in for now. Keep stuff out of there. So... You know, it's not too bad. We actually found a tool <laughs> sitting on the manifold. We had found a uh, Torx bit. Somebody must have been wrenching over the years and dropped it and said, well, that's gone forever. <laughs> okay, now she's on the ground. So we harvested the motor mount bolts and used those to bolt her on because they had those nice square flange washers on there. And All right. That's a lot of weight sitting right there. So we're going to go ahead and push that in over next to the big block Chrysler. Let's take a look and see if we can get that okay. picture. That so here's a big block Chevy next to a big block Chrysler. Slightly different eras, but basically the same concept. You know? There's a couple slight differences. But overall, these were workhorses. I did a lot of work. So, uh, there, we got this core out. Not sure what this project's going to be, but you, you never ever cry about having an extra engine lying around. I forgot to mention, the whole reason we kept this is look at this beautiful new alternator. It's still got a tag on it. How could you throw this away, even with this screwed up? Oh, yeah, look at that. Bummer. Unfortunately, that's not uncommon. <laughs> Um, and sometimes when you're pulling them, you know, you get your little tool on there. Sometimes they just crack right here. So, eh. Unfortunately, that's what they did for a long time, that pressed pulley. I never understood it. The original ones were were a uh, nut and keyway. And I vastly, vastly appreciate that. You can change those in the car. Here is Harlan's squeegee technique. And nope, it's all about pushing the water that way because that's where the drain is. But, ugh. Yeah, makes a mess. But, you know, got a motor and a trans out of there because that's a 400, so that's still pretty useful. That's a nice core. So these two, I don't know what they become, but I bet it's something fun. You can see she's still sitting here. I think everything's secured by now. But, uh, no, I think that's why he's been in a hurry to get that lift freed up. Because I'm pretty sure in the not too distant future he wants that thing on a, on a lift. Just got a strange suspicion. All right, so we've got her in a stall to get some body work done. It's got a little bit of work to do straightening this bed up. You got some dings here and the tailgate's dung. And, oh, I wonder what happened here. That's interesting because they're across from each other. Something big fell. But he's got to start on the panels. A lot to do. And it turns out he's already started working a door for it. Because I guess he's not even going to bother trying to fix that one. He already has another one. Came from the black door. Oh, that one's from the 92? From the tow truck? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and the interior's pretty complete. You know, it's got, it's got a little wear, but, you know, it is what it is. It's all there. Let's see. Well, no engine. Then down this side. Yeah, there's nowhere near as much to fix on this door. You got just 
Oh, there's not. It's not even the door. This cab corner, of course, because it's a Chevy. You know how that goes. So, yeah, unfortunately, these are going to be really fun to fix. Uh, okay, I think he got some center caps that we're going to be looking at. You know, yeah, I think these two will be coming home here before the weather switches. But what do we got? Pontiac center caps. Maybe these ones actually fit. I don't know if uh, I don't know if we filmed that before, but the ones that they sent you, they sure didn't. So we're gonna go take a look and see if those fit. Okay, if we recall, we've been playing this game trying to get caps that actually fit. So we're gonna be finding out in a minute. He's gonna go get a few tools if this is gonna work. I hope so. Those take a lot of work. This is the shape of the ones that actually work. These don't look anything like it. You get to spend a few minutes, a few minutes, some time making them the shape that you need them to be. And even then you're hammering them in. Here's what I mean. One, they're not even the same height, but two, see that curl and how nice that is? Look at the way that is just stamped. And then see how these make a circle? Those really don't. But when I'm done playing with them, they will. Okay, so that's two of them down, two to go. So I figure the last one will go real quick because I'll finally know what I'm doing. So now, all four of them have them. And more importantly, all the birds are clocked the same now. So I know no one else cares. But he asked very nicely if we would clock them all the same. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't very fun. But, secret was a lot of patience and just curling these in until everything's nice and round looking. And then just beat the crap, well, gently beat the crap out of it with a mouth. See? We're not doing it tonight, but he finally got a little sticker, you know, the little wood grain decal. But I don't want to do that one tonight. I got really filthy hands so we'll do that one next time yeah and then those are those ones I made well I mean I modified existing ones you just sand it down and then I put LBT 100 on it and lasered it and you know made it more accurate and with that another night comes to a close that was a, a long random and interesting night I'm tired. We made a big mess. I've got my hands about as clean as I think I'm getting them. That train is still here. He said he was going to use the lift to lower it down because we're old fat guys and don't want to pick it up. And he's cleaning his chain pot out. And yeah, at this point, I think we're going to turn things over to old shop wrecks. And I'm sure he's got some advice for everybody. So at this point, Thanks for watching. ShopRack says put your tools away or else.